So I get this phone call last night and it's these companies that sell stock photos. And they said, Matt, I heard you're working on a, a feature in ZimWriter where if you press a single button, it will generate hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of images using AI. And, they, and I said, yeah, I'm working on that. And they said, if you release that, we could all go out of business. And I said, so what? And I hung up the phone. I'm going to share that update with you. And those events might have been based on a true story or inspired by a true story, or I might have been dreaming them. But the update's for real. <laughs> I'm going to share it with you right now. You go to ZimWriter, you open up the AI vault, and there's this button called the Bulk AI Image Generator. Before I show you it, right, I want to show you the, the pudding first. The proof is in the pudding, so here's the pudding. Here are different images I generated all in batch, clicking a single button. All right, so this is seven popular types of magnolia trees and shrubs. These are images that the AI generated. Look at those happy dogs under that beautiful magnolia tree. We get some images. For, this is for washing a dog, how to wash a dog, different images for that. This is for strategies for effective lesson planning. Look at that dude. Looks like a real dude drinking his OJ. These are some beaches in the Philippines. I'd love to go. I love clear water. You like clear water? Love it. Now, these are must-try dishes in Italy, top five dishes. Got our pasta, had our pizza, got some rice with some parsley, I guess. I'm assuming those are meatballs. We got cannolis. And we have Egypt. Best places to visit in Egypt. Even got some AI travelers in those images. Never been to Egypt before. I'd love to go. Heard it's hot, though. All right, so all of these were generated using AI. Let me show you how we did it. So I clicked on the bulk image generator and it brings up this menu. And then what we need to do is we need to enter some titles or blog post URLs. So one of the titles I entered was how to wash a dog. And those were the, the images we saw over here, how to wash a dog. I just entered a title for that. You can also provide URLs. So I have this site here, a website, and I've used ZimWriter to generate a lot of different articles for it, demonstrate the quality of the type of articles that ZimWriter creates. Because if you don't know, ZimWriter actually creates blog posts. So these are blog posts ZimWriter created. And I said, let me recreate these images. Sometimes AI images have glitches, or sometimes you want to upgrade the quality of the images. So for whatever reason, you can put in a URL and have ZimWriter generate images after the fact for those URLs. So these are the different articles that we had ZimWriter generate. I just put them in like this in here. So we're like remaking images for these blog posts. And then this is a really cool example. I found this, this is University of Michigan. So this is strategies for effective lesson planning. There's really no images on here. So maybe you have some blog posts or you have a client that has blog posts and it doesn't have any images, but you want to add images to it. Yeah, you can do that. So these are the images that it generated for this blog post that doesn't have any images. Now with all AI, you can get a glitch here there. Like it looks like this is his left hand, but it's on the right side of his body. So every now and then you can get a glitch, but if you have a glitch, you just generate more images. So we have images for a blog post that doesn't have any images. So I took that and I pasted it right in here. All right. Now, before we click this create AI images, okay, we need a prompt. Otherwise we'll get an error message. There's a default prompt that I provide in here and you can provide your own prompts, but it takes a moment to wrap your head around what's going on. Inside of this output folder is a text file for each of these groups of images, like how to wash a dog, for instance. And what's happening is ZimWriter for each of these posts right here, each of these titles or each of these blog posts. It's taking whatever you put in this box and using it to generate another prompt. And that other prompt will be used to generate the image. So this right here, this prompt is not used to directly generate the image. It's like, it's like the, the first step. And the second step is the prompt that this will generate. That's why this says write a prompt to generate an image. We're not saying generate an image, we're saying write a prompt to generate an image. And the prompt, the output from this, you can see right here. All right, so this is the text file that's in that folder. And we get a text file for each one of these groups. So strategies for effective lesson planning, there's a text file for that. And it shows you what ZimWriter created as the prompt 
which was then used to generate the image. So recapping that, here is the prompt we put in, which caused for this title, ZimWriter to generate this prompt right here. And then this prompt was fed into the AI, depending on what AI you choose. And there's a couple different models. There's Dolly, which is an open AI model. And there's different stable diffusion models from stability.ai. Right. So you select the model that you want. And then this prompt gets fed in automatically all behind the scenes into that model to generate your image. Now you'll notice in here, there's two interesting things in curly brackets. There's the phrase or the word title and the word subheading. What ZimWriter will do behind the scenes is it will take the title of the blog post or the title that you put in, like how to wash a dog, and replace this placeholder behind the scenes, right, with that phrase. And then it will replace a subheading with one of the subheadings that ZimWriter automatically generates behind the scenes for this. It's generating like different, I call them subheadings, but there are different contexts for the titles that you put in and also the blog posts. So you get a variety of different images. So again, it used this and it generated five different prompts and then fed them all into the AI and generated those images. You can test this out. I don't want to get too deep in the woods, but you can test this out by going to something like the playground, platform.openai.com, go to the playground and you can paste in your your prompt, to tweak your prompt and, and test your prompt. You can take your prompt, you can paste it in here. You can replace the title with how to wash a dog and the subtopic of uh, find a location to wash your dog. Fantastic. And then you can select the model that you want to generate the prompt with. And so there is our output. And we can take that output if we can go to something like Dream Studio, which uses your stability.ai key. We can paste it in here, select 16 by nine, select four images and see what the result would be. Now this is if we're using comic book over here, when you select stable diffusion, you can choose like comic book or you can choose uh, photographic. There it is, photographic. And we can they click the button called dream and, and get the image result again. Now all of this is running. I don't wanna get again, too, con too confusing. This is running on this particular model right here which is the SD model. The SDC is more expensive in a higher quality model. The SDT is even a higher quality. And then SD3 is the highest quality. So you can choose what you want, but you can only preview the SD type of models in this tool. But usually when you use the, the, the next level up, the SDC, the quality will be even better. So this is the, how to wash a dog, the photographic style. Okay, so what you can expect. So you can test out your prompts in Dream Studio to dial this in and, and tweak this to, to something that you really like. And then once you've done that, you'll go over here and you'll select your model that ZimWriter uses to generate this right here. Okay, to take this and generate this. Obviously, if you use GPT-4 Turbo, you'll get a higher quality prompt because it will follow your directions better. Uh, but it is a little bit more expensive. And then you want to select how many images you want per title or URL. So over here, I chose five for each of these. So for um, this URL, the beaches in the Philippines, I got five results. For the dishes in Italy to try, I got five results. So you select the number of images that you want for each of these. You can choose all the way up to 15. Now you might say, I want 100 images on the topic of washing a dog. Then all you do is you take that title and you just paste it in multiple times. And now you can get a hundred or a thousand or 10,000 different images, as many as you want. And then finally, there's a button called compress images. If you don't press this button, you'll get just the raw output from the AI. So these are all about three or four megabytes. But if you click the compress image button, they'll be re reduced down to about a hundred kilobytes, which is great if you want to just upload them directly to WordPress. The last thing I want to cover, and I have a, a different guide on this, uh, but you can find some of the instructions in this link are loading these saved prompts. So you can type your own prompt in if you want to. You can also load in the default, but there's others that you can add. So I have some websites here that I could add custom prompts to, and I also have a default override that we can add to. We can't save them to these different profiles. We can simply load from these profiles or start from scratch 
and just type something in. If you want to save something, a prompt to a profile, you'll open up the options menu in ZimWriter and you'll open up the set AI image prompt. And so this is the default prompt for creating images that ZimWriter uses. And then you can do an override and here's an override. So we can, you know, make this 20 and I'll show you how it will change in a second. And we save the custom prompt. And then when we go back to the bulk image generator, it pulls from the database, the, the updated prompt. So we can have an, a, a default prompt. We can have our default override prompt. And then you can also, if you've added some WordPress sites, create specific prompts for each of your WordPress sites. So ZimWriter allows you to add like a thousand different WordPress sites. A lot of those sites might require different styles of images, different types of prompts. So once you dial those prompts in, you can save them in here and then pull them up as you generate your bulk images. But then also ZimWriter, if you don't know, allows you to upload your images automatically to WordPress. And then it will create those images on the fly and associate those with the blog post. And it will use those settings from in here if you're uploading to a specific blog post. So if you're uploading to your site here, it will use whatever custom prompt you have in here to generate those images to upload them all. Like an inception, like <laughs> fries your mind when you try to wrap your head around all of it. But all you need to know is the bulk image generator. It's a really cool way to generate lots and lots of images. You can just use the default prompt and get great results. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. There's also in the description, a link to ZimWriter, a link to the Facebook group with, with over 13,000 ZimWriter users who are always online and willing to help you. A very fantastic community, unique community. So lots of help there. If you have any other questions, you know where to reach me on Facebook or just send me a, a private message. Other than that, I'd love to hear how you're using this tool. Uh, drop a comment down below and uh, good luck with your content generation and I'll talk to you later.